we go to our MIDI implementation chart, which should look like this. And as we scroll down, we can see lots and lots of data about the different instruments. I'm just going to zoom in a bit. Okay, so here we go. Here's the mixer, NN19, the XT, the subtractor, Thor, Maelstrom, Redrum, Dr. Rex. And I think further down, we should have... Yeah, so again, you can even uh, uh, choose your um, settings for the different effects as well. But we want to have a look at the mixer. So, mixer 14 to master level. Okay, master level is our MIDI control number seven. So, we go back to logic, and inside here, we choose MIDI control seven. And that actually is a generic one, it's called the volume. And now we can draw in our automation. Okay, so if we had it set there, and we're just going to do a fade out curve. And let's listen back. And you can see Reason is now being automated. Okay, if I go back to Logic and we can start to whack this up again. You get the general idea. Let's try another one. All right. So rather than the volume, this time we're going to be a bit more creative. So we are going to sort of halfway through the drum track. this effect. Now, I could do it in Reason perfectly easily if I wanted to, but I want to do it in Logic. So, we're looking at um, Track 9, Channel 9, uh, Auxiliary 1. So, back to our impl MIDI implementation chart. And we have Channel 9, Send 1. And that is number 47. Back to logic. Okay, change this one to 47. We'll do it a bit later on in the track. You can hear that kicking in already. pretty straightforward once you get into it. The only slight um, issue, as far as I can see, is that you can't relabel these. So you have to know it as number 15 LSB, when really we know it's channel uh, one auxiliary. Um, if anyone knows of a way of tagging those better, then please let me know, because I can't find it yet. Let's just do one more example uh, with the uh, filter on the subtractor. So we need to create a new channel. So we can hear our bass. We want five and six. Again, the bass is a touch quiet, so I'm just going to compress it. Okay, 
Okay, so I now need to create a new track uh, to control the subtractor. So new track, external MIDI, over to here. And then we've got our base. I'm pretty sure we're subtractor one. I'm just gonna go and check. Subtractor one. So I'm um, get again, give it a better name because you don't want to get confused. Okay, so we want filter one on the frequency of lead base. There's lead base. All right. Back to our MIDI implementation chart. So subtractor. filter frequency. You can see filter frequency is number 74 and that's a pretty generic number for filter frequency. So back to our automation, press A, up to here, 74. 